What is going on ladies and gentlemen, Sadochi here and welcome back to another series of video. Today, I'm going to cover the kid hits patch note for October 27, 2020. This is the most important batch in history and will completely change the way we play monks and champ playing in the future. But first thing first, I do want to shout out to Crabbox for doing such an amazing job to keep the community updated with the KTS update as well as the translation. With that being said, let's go ahead and jump right to the first one. The first one is going to be Guild Territory War, aka GGW. The Guardian buff as well as the Boss Monster bus has been removed from the game, which is really nice by the way. This will give other other guilds more chance to capture the map. Now, now for the player who doesn't know what guardian buff does it actually increases the damage reduction against players into maps so if you walk out the map you will lose guardian buff now the only way to get a guardian buff is actually capture a spot and you have to stay on there for a long period of time to actually get the buffs over over and over again the boss monster is a little bit different you actually have guild members to run all over the map to actually find the boss monster kill the boss monster and gain a buff increase damage deal as well as reduce damage taken by a huge amount of percentages so this is really nice Next, we have the Assister. The Assister Hero Buzz has been improved. You will see a target UI with the buff duration on it. Like, for example, 9 seconds for the Zara, 7 seconds for the Ignis, etc. Which is super nice, by the way. They also changed the max amount of duration for this buff as well. So, for the current one, it's going to be 15 seconds and a 30 second as a maximum stack. And then for the new one, it's going to be 30 seconds and then. 60 second at the maximum stack, which is super nice by the way. The number of stacks of the bus have been changed as well. The current one from 5 to 3. Like, I gotta be honest, nobody gonna, nobody gonna heal the assister 5 times in a row. That is way too much. So, 3, uh, three stacks is, is already super, super nice. And it also increased attack for the buff per stacks have been changed as well. So, the new values is the amount of stack multiplied by the caster healing status. And it also provides increased damage percent per stacks. 35% damage per stack. So this is super super nice for solo CM by the way, especially for healer. Alright, next we have the UI as well as the item chain. The UI in PvE situation, the target name display will be changed from showing their character name into the team name. So this way you can actually remember their names and actually whisper them. Like, hey, what is going on man? Good fight, GG. Let me know the message in PvP, which is really nice by the way. Now for the item changes, the Bivore Mace second armor has been adjusted accordingly to the new champion changes. So the current one right now increased the basic attack damage by 1% of extra damage value during the BNH shield buff, maximum of 1000%. And after the changes, it provides 0.2% final increase in skill factor for BNH shield per 100 additional damage up to 100%. So this is super nice for the champion changes, which I'm gonna cover later on. But with that, so keep this, keep this off the values in mind at the moment right now. Alright, so for the next chain, is going to be some of the classes that was mentioned in the patch, which include Tainer, Monk, Jumbling, and Paladin. I'm going to start with the Potato first. Now, for the Potatoes, they're changing the Potato skill that is only available for Rapier Weapon, which is not bad at all. That's also applied for Ole as well. The next one is going to be Monks. There were a lot of speculation, a lot of assumptions for Monks for the past few weeks because they mentioned that Monks skill will be changed into the channel, especially for Double Punch. So they changed Double Punch into the channel skill, improved the physical damage. The Iron Skin, which is the first ones, have been changed from level 15 all the way to level 5, which is the max. They gotta keep the same value of 50% physical damage reduction, but also immune your character against knockback and knockdown so which is really nice by the way if you think about this so this buff activation basically grant used the permanent gazing golem call effect next double punch changing channel skills max duration 3.5 seconds hit up to 24 hit which is really nice by the way i don't see what that's the bad idea for 3.5 second channels now send this skill has been is a channel skill they also remove nirvana this vulnerable art is required to make the infinite energy blast, so I don't know how they're gonna do with infinite energy blast in the future. But they also set a cooldown for the skill, it's 30 second cooldowns. The skill factor has been adjusted. The current one is right now it is 318. Now the new one is tripled in damage, it's gonna be 980%. I actually did some calculation for this one, so with a max attribute, you get 1568%, which is not bad at all. And then you multiply by 24 hit, it's gonna be 37,632%. This is super huge, by the way. This is a huge damage increase, especially for a channel skills. So if you have the channels increase, especially with Goddess Dahlia, this probably will increase damage further. But like I said before, this is channeling. So you have to stand in one place and channel it. 
up to 3.5 seconds. So I don't know how people would actually use this with their Goddess Inker. There's some Monk player may actually have to change the Inker, the basic attack Inker to channel Inker. So we'll just have to see in the future how people want to do it. Now for the next one, it's actually pretty big by the way. So what it does is that they change the pop rate over heat count from 4 to 3 and they compensate that by changing the skill factor, like increasing the skill factor, applying the full one into the third one. So with that, we have the 3,985%, which is the current one, to the 5,393%. Now this is huge by the way, because the calculation for the new one is like super, super strong with attack and set effect. So 5,393 multiplied by 60%, that is going to be around 8,628.8% for the final damage with max attribute. Now I have not included the orange attributes, which is like 32 point. 32.5%. Yes, that's right there. But regardless, this is huge. It's gonna be near around 10,000 skill scaling for months. So you can actually trigger a lot of attack and set effect. So this is really high. Now the next one is gonna be hand knife that required class to learn this skill have been changed from 1 to 16. So you can no longer learn this skill right away until your talent skills is actually level 16. Your class skill actually. The amount of skills have been changed from 1 to 10. So this is huge. The skill factors, the current one right now is 3,961%. They increase up to 8,868%. This is pretty big. And you do the multiplier, that is going to be around, let's see, 11,988, no, 13,000 actually, my bad. Give me a second. It's going to be 13,988.8%. So technically, after casting the palm straight, you get as a hand knife. That damage amount will completely break huge amount of damage that you lost from double punch or any other skill. Super super huge. One inch punch. They also reduce the overheat count from four to three, but also increase the skill factor to five thousand four hundred seventeen from three thousand four hundred fifty eight, which is not bad in my opinion. This is a really good number for monk right now. God finger flick. This skill has been adjusted. It, they increase the skill scaling, which is not bad by the way. But look at this. From 7,515 all the way to 8,874%, which is not bad by the way. It all has a chance to remove enemy buff on hit. So technically, with that, you have 25% max as you max the skill out. So that's really good for PvP. Energy Blast, okay. Now, they change the skill required from class level 16 all the way to 31, which is not bad at all. The maximum skills have been changed from 10 to 5. Thank God, this is this is this is what most people are waiting for. So they are keeping the skill factor, but they're also buffing a little bit. So they buff from 1,144 all the way to 1,200, so maximum, which is not bad by the way. No longer has changed to remove any buff on here. So this is huge in PvP for the player who doesn't know what it does. When you see a monk charging up and kind of use energy blast on you with the I believe it was the knockdown attributes or something, without the knockback attributes, they can actually knock you back and remove all your buff. So this is super huge in PvP. Golden Bell Shields. Golden Bell Shield has been changed from level 5 to 1. It still provides 5% damage increase if you had a skill gym, which is really nice by the way. So the current one run right now is basically the 50% max and in the future one is going to be 50% as well. So that is pretty huge. Alright, so next we have Champlain. This is huge. Binashio has been improved to be a skill to change your basic attack. And alongside the change, the deploy capella repentance attributes have been changed to suit the playstyle of using more basic attack. In addition, you can change initial basic attack and speed limit attack to magic through the attributes. Therefore, gem playing has been improved to be more useful combined with not only physical damage classes in class 3, but also magic damage classes. Magical status jam play when the attribute is activated, the basic attack of skill and being sure has been to magic attack. So I did not know this. That Champlain was physical the whole time. I gotta be honest, I had no idea. <laughs> and then Beta Shields have been changed basically into multi hit attack that hit two times with a separate skill factor chain. Now, the maximum you can actually get from this one is 1834%, multiplied by two hits, that's roughly almost 3000. This is super huge for auto attack build. So, technically, Drew and Champlain can definitely be viable with this one. Now, the current regulations have been changed as well. The current one is actually 900 seconds, and after change, it's gonna be 30 seconds. The cooldown have been changed from 40 seconds up to 30 seconds. So, technically, 
you have a 30 second downtime using Benicio, but it's gonna be a burst ability. And with this one, like I mentioned before, if you remember what I said about the, where is it? Okay, the viral chain, they chain the, the final damage, the final increase skill factor for Benicio, you know, per 100 additional damage, which is increased up to 100%, which is super huge, by the way. So with that, Benicio is gonna hit more than this, even with max attributes. So in 30 seconds, you have a lot of damage to use this. Now, for the enhanced upgrade for Benicio, which is really nice by the way, they also mentioned this, as the functionality of Benicio has been changed, the effect of Vivora Seconds armor has been adjusted accordingly, the detail can be checked in the item changes, which are there, as I mentioned before, as the Gilliam, they changed the skill from class 1 all the way to class 31, so the maximum skill level has been changed from 15 to 5, thank god we don't have to max this out, and then the duration has been changed as well, they changed from 900 seconds to 30 minutes they change the attack type from the magic holy to physical strike and holy but like i said again there's attributes called magical side to champ play you can actually change this into physicals i mean it's from physical to magic skill factor the current one right now is 620 and the maximum the new one is 1385 which is really nice by the way last ride have been changed duration as well as the maximums of amount of duration is 600 seconds to 30 minutes so everything is totally changed to 30 minutes which is not bad at all and then for the p time with facility as times it changed from 30 second max to 40 second max so technically we have a permanent up time for this one which is really nice by the way all right next the port capella repentance a new effect has been added you will in no defense when attacking enemy at 10 percent rate i don't know is it 10 percent rates of ignoring defense or you have a 10% of ignoring defense, which is really good. Also, you have a buff called Trust, which is added to Capella. Buff squad is activated. Damage taken reduced by 1% per stack. You gain one stack when you're not moving, and you lose one stack when you move. You get a maximum of 10 stack, which is not bad at all. So technically, you stay in one place out of attacking, which is really good. Visible talents also change as well. The maximum skill level for these skills has been changed from 5 to 1, which is super, super nice. So technically, this is all the changes for, for the champ play at the moment right now. And then last week, we have Paladin Chain, which is... <laughs> I was hoping for something really good, but they actually changed the demolition that can be used with one hand mace weapon, which is not bad at all. However, they increased the skill time change from 1.6 to 1.8 seconds. So technically, it takes almost 2 seconds to cast the skills. All right, so more than mining from Crabbox, we have a new whole costume. Halbert Mana Costumes, oh my goodness. I'm actually more concerned about this one. This is the wing costume. The Vana wing costume. Oh, it looks so freaking good. This is actually like a backpack. Look at that. The birds are sitting right behind you. And then there is the new pet as well, which increased 500 attack against medium side target, which is really nice, by the way. We have the new hand, new dice, all this color. Oh, beautiful wait a minute that hair is actually remind me of the disney movie i forgot what was it it was a girl with like a really messy hair and with this red color go around i forgot what i forgot what the movie is and then we have the new effect new weapon skins wait a minute is that wait is this a shield is it a monarch shield oh no no this is a monarch swan this is definitely a monarch swan i don't know about the monarch halberd pillows that may be monarch pillows and then we have the new hair accessory we have the <laughs> this nice sleeping time from monarchs and then for the halberd and then we have the ts card now this card doesn't ha have any status but it is a legendary card that is used to float up for other legendary card which is super nice by the way and that's pretty much for all the videos. Thank you very much for watching. This is Satoshi once again. And I will see you all in the next videos. Peace out.